Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Manzi Crypto. Today, there's going to be a lot of stuff we're going to do on Mobox. We're going to shove all of this into one beautiful video. Uh, we're going to take part in the Mexbox raffle. In order to do that, uh, we need to claim some Mobox, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, uh, let's just have a look here. If I click on participate. Yeah, 2.2 Mobox required from Wallet. Uh, so we're going to do that a little bit later. Uh, then for now, we're going to log into our wallet, into our gaming wallet. Okay, we are logged into our gaming wallet right now. Um, I don't know if I want a little bit more Mobox, to be honest. I don't think it's needed uh, right now. Um, the season is about to end for Chainz Arena anyway on this wallet. It really sucks that, you know, the admins or uh, Mobox admins can't really help me to transfer over my account because like now i have to sell mech in order to get mobox in order to buy mining hammers and stuff like that and change the arena it's not cool man it's it's really not cool um i think at the moment it it, it just matters like how much we can get out of that wallet uh because at the end of the day uh you know it's a hacked wallet so we're gonna copy our treasure and then paste it over here and then I would like to do the max amount, which is uh, 5189. So 5189. And then we just send it. And that mech will come to uh, our wallet. So let me just do this. Alrighty, so it did say success there. So in a second, we'll see the mech bump up quite a bit here. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to log into our other gaming wallet. Um, which I'll have to do right now. Let me just log out this one and then log into our Trezor wallet. So Mobox wallet, MetaMask, sign. Uh, the thing is, I am, I am playing these games on my, on my, um, what's it called? My, my laptop. So I need to log into it every time, which is kind of annoying also, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay, now we're logged into our Trezor wallet. You can see we have quite a few mech here as well, and Mobox. Uh, I want to drain both, pretty much. I just want to get rid of it, so... Uh, we're going to transfer... Uh, 1320. 1320. One, uh, that's mech right there. So send. Transfer. Better mask. You know, at least I have to do my Trezor stuff every time, so... At least that works pretty nicely. And then we're going to also send the Mobox. So transfer uh, maximum amount. So one to six. I don't need any Mobox there. We need to, we need to make sure that we get as much out as possible. Okay, just accepting it. Okay, cool. Now all of this is claimed and it should come to this wallet uh, decently fast. Um, we also need to claim our mining right here. So let's do that also. So claim our mining. Do this treasure <laughs> button confirming. Hmm. Kind of annoying, right? We have to press it so often. There we go. The Mobox is in. Mobox is in. The mech is in. Uh, so what we've got to do right now is make sure that we take part in the mech box raffle. So participate. Hash power. Uh, not claim. We want to enter the lottery. So confirm this. Do our treasure stuff and done. So we entered uh, the next mechbox raffle also. Now I just want to double check and confirm that, you know, how long is it still? It's 21 hours until your Momos need to be level 140 initial hash power. Um, for me, this is a good indication that I should claim my mech boxes as well. So we're going to claim the mech box. Uh, so confirm. So by the time you guys watch this video, um, 
the initial hash power increased already. So you need to be cautious about these things. It is very important that you know uh, that, you know, your initial hash power needs to be higher with the ones that you are mining with. And if you don't do that, then obviously you can get into less uh, profitable categories, which is not good. Okay, so we can go to mystery box over here, open mech boxes. Let me just have to wait for it to show up here. Okay, so it showed up. Yes, I did report. Uh, I did pause the recording, <laughs> so it shows up faster for you guys watching. So many transactions, dude. So many transactions. But it's okay. We're gonna get our mech out of this right now. I don't know if it's going to be better over time to rather sell this. Uh, I don't think it is because we, we're we going to receive less and less mech. 8% less every month. Uh, thanks to Chains the Arena rewards. So might be better to not sell the mech boxes. Because we kind of need to have them if that makes any sense. So just do this again. I feel like... I feel like they should just have another button there that says unlock and open. Because like it's it's 20 cents, dude. It's 20 cents that you do this every time. And you know, this adds up eventually. We got one purple. So nothing too special. We got one purple one there. Uh, which is not great, but it's not as bad, you know, as it could have been. Okay, so that is done. Okay, so we have our mech boxes open. Uh, and now we got to increase our initial hash power uh, with the Momos, that is very important. So I'm gonna just select everything that needs to go up by five. And then this one, we'll put the rest in there. So we have 8,000 mech right now. So 8,000 mech. Okay, so we're going to just do five on everyone and see how that's going to go. Okay, so I want to see. So max is six, right? So we can take up everyone maybe by one more. Um, very important that we start from the top. We still have a thousand to go. Oof. 8,024. Okay, we could do that. Nice. So we'll just increase the hash power here. Yes, take all my money as gas fees, everything. That's what you want. <laughs> right, Mobox? <laughs> okay, so this should be done right now. We should also... Let's just have a look here. Um, I think we should refresh this page. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just update it there. So unfortunately, we're not at the 3,200 category yet. So we're not stronger inside Token Master. But this guy reached level, uh, uh, well, hash power is 1000. So that is pretty good. Um, eventually this guy will be stronger than this one and will replace it. And maybe, I don't know, give it a little bit more levels. I don't know if that's necessary, to be honest. If we go up one level with this guy, yeah, we go to 3220. So we, we get stronger in Token Master, um, 1% to be exact, 1 or 2%. Uh, 1% damage, 5% HP, I think. That's the correct numbers. And if you do the math over here, it's 6 white and 5 green. This alone is about $150, dude. Like, what? no, it's definitely not worth it. <laughs> Um, okay, so now we have pretty much no mech, and we have 190 Mobox. So what I'm going to do right now is send it over to my Binance account. Uh, so 
we receive 5% interest on this. And I just want to show you guys over here my liquidity swap. This is what I ended up with. And this is the two that I'm going to take serious at first. Now, I definitely want to uh, take Ape USDT serious. Uh, but unfortunately, well, I wouldn't say unfortunately. It's a, it's a great thing. Um, Binance increased the Ape. Uh, you can see over here, 50%, right? The 50% stake. They increased it by another 100. So I want to get another 100 Ape staked inside that pool. It will just take a while to get there. Uh, but we are receiving close to a half, a half of an Ape per day. Uh, which is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So it will just take us 200 days then to stake this. Uh, assuming that we don't get anything more, right? <laughs> but we do get 50% increased. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, so go to Fiat and Spot. Then we just have to uh, get our uh, Mobox coin over here. So Mbox. And then on this one, we're just going to say deposit. And it's going to be BEP20. Get smart address. Okay. BSC address updated. Uh, you have successfully obtained a new BSC deposit address. Please be sure to use this new address for all future deposits. Deposit to your B old BSC network address will not be automatically credited. Why did I get a new address? That, that I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, so now we're just going to click on send over here and paste the new address. Click on Mobox, Max, and send it. Uh, just make sure that you take away all that dots there. Um, otherwise, the transaction might fail. Um, okay, we'll do this. I don't know if I should though. Like I didn't double check my receive address. Okay, whatever. Let's let's just do it. <laughs> oh man, I'm a little scared. Let's see, B B scan, BSC scan, enhance, uh, internal, uh, BEP twenty. Here we go. Mobox out to this wallet. Yeah, it seems like the right one. Copy. There we go. Yeah, so it is that wallet. Okay, so now we just have to wait for it to show up in our fiat and spot. And then we're going to stake it for 5% interest. Now what I'm going to do also is... I will show you guys in a second. You can see that we are earning USDT earning BNB, uh, Solana, there's Mobox. We're earning Mobox also each day. Even though it's a small amount for now, it, it, it's fine. I want to show you guys again here at Earn, if I go to Liquid Swap. So what I plan to do is the USDT will become profit, and then the Mobox will get, will, you know, will get Mobox every day. And then we're going to just stake the Mobox again. A uh, single stake, which means it will automatically go to USDT, will pay a gas fee. Uh, but yeah, that, that's how it's going to work. Um, so we earn Mobox and we provide liquidity with it. Now, it's not, it's not a great amount. Uh, it is 5.39%. So it's not a, it, insane, like how much we get. It's 3.3% uh, you know, going to a USDT Mobox. Um, so yeah, it's not great. And then we have BNB, which is 2%, which is actually great. So uh, you can either stake um, inside Mobox itself. So you can either stake here. If you wanted to provide liquidity, you get 30%. But the thing is you're getting... I don't really want to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. You're getting a shit coin, right? You stake Mobox BNB and you only get Mobox. You don't get any BNB. You just get Mobox, um, which is a good amount. You get a good amount of it though. Uh, but I want to I want to transfer away from 
shit coins eventually, and I want to get to the better coins. Uh, so if I want to stake Mobox BNB, it will obviously be on uh, on Binance, and the reason being is because yes, you get less money, you get quite a quite a bit less money. Where right, you get thirty percent on uh, on Mobox itself, but over here you get four percent. Now three percent goes to the fee, but you are earning close to is it three or so one and a half you get you get close to almost three percent worth in bnb and bnb is a lot better token to hold for the long term than mobox would be so again that is just my opinion guys so that is why i'm providing liquidity over here on binance instead of mobox itself i want to eventually diversify out uh, but this is the ultimate best way to do it in my opinion I get dollars, which is a lot better than Mobox. Well, I mean, Mobox is so stable, you could see it as a stable coin at this point. Uh, it's been close to 50 cents, around 50 cents, I don't know, maybe for eight months straight, right? It's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. Provide it here and you get passive income. So that money should be now in our, in our Binance uh, fiat spot money. Let's see this. There it is. So all I'm going to do right now is click on earn and flexible. Unfortunately, I'm not in a location or not a, not in a position yet uh, that I can just provide liquidity with it and still have enough money per month. So what I do is as well. So you can see the mobox is staked here now. What I do as well is uh, in auto invest. Right now, I'm buying Mobox. I'm buying Mobox. So a, a, dollar, a dollar per day, 90% Mobox, 10% Bitcoin. Um, because I want to get to a point where I eventually earn enough, which is 0 0.3 Mobox per day, uh, just in the liquidity. And then I could do whatever I want. I can provide liquidity, Mobox BNB, Mobox USDT, every single day, and it will move accordingly if that makes any sense. And we will earn other coins, not just Mobox. Uh, at the end of the day, I think if you can get to a nice position where you earn a decent amount of BNB, uh, that, that's the end goal for me, at least. So uh, I want to provide liquidity, no matter if you choose USDT or BNB, you get BNB, regardless of what you choose. Uh, so over time, I'm going to accumulate as much BNB as possible by doing that but also get USDT to eventually get to a point where I don't have to put in a dollar a day. We will generate that from our liquidity. But yeah, it's a pretty long video, guys, but hopefully you agree and hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. I, I really would appreciate that. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Love you, take care. And as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.